Hi, Nikolai Markovich from Echo Lake Technologies, echolaketech.com. So I wanted to continue on with my uh, calendar here. There's a couple of things I wanted to update based on uh, user experience. And uh, it's around creating the calendar event here. So let me do a refresh here. And you can see some of the things. So when I open up the page or the uh, create uh, event pop-up, it goes to today's date, which happens to be the 20th of July. But I clicked on the 31st here, and so I have to go and type that in and so forth. So what I want to do, oh, and the other thing is um, this is currently set up for uh, European-style time or military time, if you will, so for 2 p.m. Uh, so I want to change that. The other thing is I can go and create an event right now even with an empty event name. So I want to make a change to that as, as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and instead of the standard time picker style, we're going to put that to blank again. And up here I'm going to change this time format. Come back over here to the end date, do the same thing. Like that. The other thing we're going to do is while I'm over here is we're going to make this input uh, not disabled, not empty. And same with this one, not empty. And this input should not be empty. So now all three of these uh, need to have content in them, inputs added. Uh, the other thing I want to do is for this one, on the initial content, so when I click on a day, I want to get the current day's event. Um, actually not the event, the day. And then I want to add, I'm going to, it, it'll default to midnight. And what I want to do is I just want to start it at noon time. So basically, when we click this pop-up open, it'll start on the day of the calendar that I pick, and it's going to start at noon time. Now the other thing I would like to do is put in a criteria so that if the end date and time is earlier than the start that it prevents the user from submitting that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually remove these conditions. So when this date and time picker's value is less than the start time date picker value, I want to change the background color just so that the user can see that like that. The other thing I want to do is prevent them from creating an event as, as well. So what I do is when the end times value is less than start times value, I am going to, where is it? Disable. This element isn't clickable. And I'm also going to change the uh, background color to that. There. Now let's see how this looks. So now when I click on a date, it should come up with the date as a default at noon. And sure enough, it does. You also notice that it doesn't have the uh, European or military timing. And you also notice if I click on create event, this highlights. So meeting. And just make sure that this works. So it highlights that, and I can't click on Create Event. So I'll make that 3 o'clock. 
create event. And there it is. Okay. So I just wanted to make this quick update from my earlier video on uh, creating a calendar event. Uh, hopefully this was helpful for you. Uh, thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.